Another common question that we get is why is there an HOA involved on a FIG project or on a FIG property? And HOAs can have a negative connotation almost across the board. It's almost right there with IRS and other three-letter entities that you love to hate. But in this case, the HOA ends up being a tremendous asset for the subdivision. If you've lived in a community without or with an HOA, and you've, you've done both of those is what I'm trying to say, you can see the difference. We all hate to get that notice from the HOA that your fence is the wrong color or you can't park there. You don't want to be told that, but you definitely want your neighbor to be told that because they don't know where to park. They don't have enough taste to decide what to paint the color of their house. Somebody's got to police this stuff, right? And we all think that, you know, we know better. But in this case, one set of uniform rules for the entire community ends up being the investor's friend. Take a look at these fourplex communities ba built back in the 70s or the 80s and what the majority of them look like today. You know what they look like. There's cars parked everywhere. There's junk on the lawn. The roofs all need to be replaced. The color is faded. It looks really, really shabby. And that's what we're trying to avoid by having an HOA in place. One of the key components of doing that is having a master insurance policy. If you've got an attached unit, right, maybe it's an apartment style fourplex or a townhouse style fourplex, you can't take the chance that the person that owns the, the unit attached to you doesn't have insurance or that they won't maintain their, the exterior of their property. The HOA does that in a FIG community. So there's a master policy so that if the building catches on fire, there's a, a big deductible, but that gets paid and the building gets repaired guaranteed because they keep that policy in place and in force. What if the shingles start curling? Maybe you have eight doors in a row. It's two fourplexes. The roof is looking really old and tired. We need to have reserves. We need to make sure that there's a budget there to make those kind of improvements that have to happen over time. Otherwise, what do you get? You get these old complexes built in the 70s and 80s that nobody really wants to live in anymore, at least for the price that you need to get to command a respectable return on your investment. So in short, that's why the HOA exists, to guarantee that the community is preserved and that it looks the same over time so that tenants actually want to live there.